Hi team, let's do a little recording experiment and see what we can accomplish. Problem eight asks you to visualize a curve as the intersection of a right circular cylinder and a plane. So let me show you how to do that and graph it nicely in Mathematica. Remember this curve, R of T, is a description of the X of T, Y of T, and Z of T positions of the curve at any time t. So you think of the two cosine t as the x of t, two sine t is the y of t, and the four minus six cos t minus sine t as the z of t. Now, we can graph this in Mathematica just to get a quick view of it. Switch to our Mathematica screen. and use parametric plot 3D and put the curve X, Y, and Z coordinates in braces and choose a time interval like zero to two pi, a few carriage returns and indentation, make this much easier to visualize. Here's a curve. Now uh, the box is kind of awkward, but it, Looks like a circle from above if I can get my fingers on it. <laughs> Looks like a line from the side. Maybe this is the intersection of a line and plane. Let's get a little bit of control over this with box ratios. Let's set the box ratios to be just, at least first, one to one to one. Okay, now I can move this thing around, visualize it. You see the range X and Y going from minus two to two, Z going from about minus four to 10. Let's go back to our paper. And I'll share again. I worked some bugs out of this at the beginning. Now, let's look at the x of t and y of t coordinates, the 2 cosine t, 2 sine t. Oh, trigonometry days. That says that's a description of a circle, a circle of radius 2, because x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Now, for us, that's not just a circle in the plane, but if we think of z as taking any value we wish, we could think of that circle as sliding up and down the z-axis, infinitely, in fact. And so this is the equation of a right circular cylinder. If I look at the z-coordinate and say z of t is 4 minus 6 cos t minus 1 half sine t, I can use the sine and cosine. I can use the x and y values to rewrite this as 4 minus 3 times 2 cosine t minus, oh, I apologize. This is not a minus 1 half here. This is strictly a minus sine t. I got a few typos going to creep in. But I could think of that minus sine t as minus one half, two sine t. So what I've done is expressed z as four minus three times x, two cos t is x, minus one half times y. If I bring the x and y to one side, the left side, and double everything to, so I don't have to look at the fraction, I recognize this as the equation of a plane, six, x plus y plus 2z equals 8. So our curve C lies both on this cylinder and on this plane. 
That means it must be the intersection of the two. Let's see if we can accomplish that looking at Mathematica. So let's add to this whole cylinder. And we'll draw that cylinder with contour plot, 3D. And we'll think of that cylinder as x raised to the 2 plus y raised to the 2 equals 4 radius squared. I have to use a double equals there. Now I have to give it a box to draw this cylinder in. So let's say x is minus 2 to 2. And then I'll copy and paste. I'll say y is minus 2 to 2. And then I'll say z goes from minus 4 to 10. That's what my circle that I've drawn already suggests. Tedious to type this out, but the once I type something out, I can indent neatly, and then I can just copy and paste to create my plane. Let's say the plane is, get rid of the word cylinder, and contour plot that plane equation that we discovered, 6x plus y plus 2z double equals 8. Let's use the same box right there. So now I've got a curve, a cylinder, plane. Let's put them all together with the show command. Show, curve, lowercase c I used, cylinder, plane. Bring them all together. There they are. I got an intersection here. This looks good, but I can doll this up quite a bit. So let's suppress the first three drawings before I bring things together. Oh, for that curve, let's style it by saying that plot style will be black with a certain thickness. So I'll choose thickness of, you have to do this by experience after playing with it a couple times. This thickness gets big quick. So 0 0.02, that's good. Now I draw. Notice how I just went straight to the intersection plot because I suppressed the other three commands and inside the cell, I have the show with the three commands. So every change I make to these three commands is going to show up directly on this picture. I think I can improve this by making the box a little bit larger so I can have room to see things, right? Let's make the box minus 3 to 3, minus 3 to 3, minus 6 to 12. You can always experiment. And I can, remember, cut and paste save myself some trouble typing, I will put a plot range inside this parametric curve plot, a syntax that is a little bit different. I do not use the x, y, and z. I just say minus 3 to 3, minus 3 to 3, and minus 6 to 12. Okay, now I got a much better view of this intersection. It's pretty solid. I'll decorate a little bit further by adding contour style. You know, the decoration is strictly extra, but sometimes it helps you to visualize things. So let's say contour style will be red with light opacity. Point eight is a little bit too plain. How about if I make the cylinder somewhat more transparent than, notice how I have to copy the comma and contour style. I'll make the plain blue and not so transparent. Let's see if we're happy with this. And maybe the plane's a little bit too untransparent, but this is a really nice visualization. From above, I see my curve as a circle. From the side, 
I see my curve is a line. And this is the curve that's created by the intersection of the right circular cylinder and the plane. Thanks for listening. Pandemic time used to be pretty smooth and quick at this, but it'll all come back to me. It'll all come back to us. See you later.